YouTube, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at brand new evolutions. We'll be looking at fodder, team of the season investments, team of the season, premier league leaks, and expected content in the next couple of days. But before we get into all that, we're gonna talk about content today on Tuesday. If you wanna have millions of coins in EAFC like me, go to u7buy.com for cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Teddy at checkout to get 6% off your order. Link is in the description down below. Content today on Tuesday was pretty basic for SBCs. Every Tuesday, it's been the same exact thing, getting the campaign mix player pick upgrade it's garbage no one really cares about it uh it's 286 overall squads one team of the week requirement and that is that for sbcs we did get i think it was lagoon player of the month but it's i mean here i'll pull them up real quick it's nothing crazy nothing to uh lose sleep over yeah it's nothing nothing special so that's what we got for sbcs today now the real content today is the evolution. Evolution, what did we get? It cost 100,000 coins. It's called Moment of Truth. We did not get another team of the season live evolution. We've been expecting it, I guess, but I don't know. Maybe it's going to come. Maybe it's not. Maybe the leak was wrong. But 100,000 coins for this evolution. And there are some interesting Evo combinations you can make to build up to getting a, a really solid card but i will share with you guys the main three basically we can look on flipping popular as well but at, at content drop i immediately i went i looked you can see right here it was max rating 84 defending max 67 so i just put that into footbin and i went and i looked and kiesa rodman diaby instantly it's like okay those are probably the three best cards you can even see because i i haven't even touched this since content drop we talked about this at content drop i said you could buy these cards i didn't think they were going to move that much to be honest i said you could buy them but i really didn't think they were going to move that much those are the prices look 2800 coins on kiesa let's click on him and he's extinct at 10k this is what his card looks like it's it's not terrible the, the cards definitely aren't terrible but it's an evolution that could definitely be free. Like, if anything, I would understand the team of the season live evolution being 100k and this one being free. The other one, Trinity Rodman, extinct at 10k. She was 2,200. Kies with 2,800. Let's see. Diaby. I don't know. Is Diaby doing good? No, he's basically the same price. Up on PC, though. We can see right now if we check Footbin and just look at the main page who the most popular ones are. And I'm assuming... I've saw I've seen some Cole Palmer ones that are pretty decent. Um, well, I'll just click on him. It does give a boost on the weak foot. Is it weak foot and skill moves? I've seen players. I think it's Trinity Rodman. I think it's one boost to the skill move, one boost to the weak foot. Trinity Rodman's five star skills, five star weak foot, pretty dope. And there is the Cole Palmer. I'm assuming this card's extinct, or yeah, he's extinct. The the cards that have been out of packs for a long time, there's no supply on them. So these evolutions, they fly if you're able to trade with them. But it's it's tough, and if you do trade with them, coin wipe wise, little sketchy. It's just something that might not be worth the risk. For those of you that don't know, if you trade with Evolutions and you have a player that goes like that Trinity Rodman that went from 2,200 coins to uh, 10,000 coins extinct. If you bought those Trinity Rodmans for 2,200 coins and sold that 10K, good chance you can get coin wipes. EA just take all the coins off your account. It's really shitty. Uh, their system of wiping people and thinking you're doing something you're not supposed to do on the game. It's terrible. And um, yeah, if you ever do something like that where you might be worried about a coin wipe, invest your coins. Because then if they coin wipe you and you have no coins, who cares? It doesn't matter. Your coins are invested in team of the weeks, team of the season, something like that. So just a little tip right there. That's the Evo. It's decent. It's decent, but it's nothing. Um, wow. Insane. And it's 100K, which I don't really like. Now, uh, by the way, did Lucas Vasquez. Card's going to be crazy. Speaking of... Um, these team of the season live cards, Arsenal versus Chelsea. Arsenal just scored five goals. We won five, nothing. So Kai Havertz, he already has one confirmed upgrade for the two wins and they need, I believe it's one more goal 
and he gets the second upgrade. So if you're looking to get this card, or if you were debating on doing the Kai Havertz SBC, just a heads up, he's going to be a 94 overall card. So add plus two to every single stat. And some stats get a little bit extra of a boost, like maybe shooting gets a plus two for one upgrade. And then the second upgrade gets another plus two, something like that. We'll see. Um, you prefer to get one upgrade and then another one upgrade. You don't want two upgrades at the same time. Someone explained this to me before with the, um, what was it? The road, the, what are the blue cards, the fantasy cards, how you actually get more of a boost on the card. If it's, you get a plus one upgrade, you get a plus one upgrade, you get a plus one upgrade. You don't want it to be like, Hey, this card goes from a 92 to a 94 through one upgrade. I don't know why it's like that, but it's how it is. Um, so hopefully we see one upgrade Kai Havertz and then another one upgrade on Kai Havertz. That would be awesome. Now, uh, market, what's going on on this game? Investments, teams, you want to buy Team of the Season Live cards? When should you buy them? Let's take a peek. What do we got going on? They're all pretty much down in price. And it's basically what I said. I don't really want to touch these cards until Thursday, the day before they go out of packs with rival rewards. They're all down in price pretty much. Uh, I mean, it's Pretty much it might be all of them maybe not basic a lot of them are down basically and um the fodder even the fodder ones are down a little bit dang is that an undercut no they're they're down so those are down a little i wouldn't worry too much about those because they can't really get that low um like i said we're waiting till thursday rival rewards before they go out of packs maybe we get another team of the season live evolution that's really solid and that will allow us to be like hey we're gonna buy this specific card before it goes out of packs because once it goes out of packs people are going to put them put them into the evolution and it'll go up a lot same thing we saw with vintage we'll see maybe we get that maybe we don't um investment wise as well we're definitely going to be keeping an eye on on some of these premier league cards for premier league team of the season premier league team of the season is starting on friday so you want to think like hey what cards can link to some of the premier league cards and we're really just watching shabasly and robinson i think we i don't care about romero at all to be honest i mean maybe uh, thinking about it I, I just said it but now thinking about it there's a chance there's a chance romero does really good because the premier league center backs we're going to get for team of the season might be too good so it's a case where Saliba's really expensive, Van Dyke is really expensive, and they're too expensive. So someone like this Romero actually goes up in price. Maybe. Um, we'll see. Obviously, we could also see something like that with Kudus. Because um, right mid, depending on who it is, it, it, the right mid could be very expensive for the Premier League. We'll see. It's just once all the leaks fully come out, we can start to figure out okay uh premier league team of the season is lacking a left back i think Udogi might be confirmed but you, you get the idea hey there's no left back this robinson is going to link to all the premier league cards that's a good buy let's say i don't know if Saka's is getting it but if there is let's say mo salah right wing he's the only premier league team of the season right midfielder this kudus would go up a ton because think about it mo salah is going to be millions of coins this kudus is going to be borderline like the next best thing so uh we'll keep an eye on some of the leaks we're going to get into the leaks in a little bit but that's the update on the team of season live cards you can think about some of the other league players maybe basic just because he's super meta but the main cards i'm watching is premier league just because they're going to be linking to the premier league team of the season that is coming out now uh fodder i mean i guess i'll just head right back over to flipping fodder sell it tomorrow you guys know you never want to hold fodder into thursday we've been over this a ton of times and so many of you guys still do it and you're like ah shoot i should have sold don't hold your fodder into thursday rival rewards supply is too much rival rewards are amazing the supply is crazy cards come down in price don't hold your fodder make sure it's sold tomorrow and uh tomorrow yes tomorrow's wednesday don't hold your fodder into thursday that's what i was trying to say and thursday you can always hop on bids as well because there's so much supply on thursdays the deals on bids are amazing just to kind of show you guys as well you can always see it just by going back and looking at thursday 
uh, let's go hourly. Can I hit Thursday? Yeah. So Thursday, 85s for 3,500 coins. You get rival rewards, all that supply, boom, down at 2.6. And it, it happens every Thursday, especially the 85s, because there's a lot of packs in rival rewards where it's like 85 plus times something, seven, something like that. So a lot of supply on 85s, basically any 85 plus fodder, just make sure it is sold tomorrow on Wednesday. Um, other investments, we, we already talked about the Team of the Season live cards. We're really just waiting till Thursday for that. The other stuff you guys know about, uh, Premier League. Premier League Team of the Season, you're looking at the out-of-pack Premier League cards. I told you guys to buy Van Dyke. Um, we bought Van Dyke. We bought Saliba. Those are the only two I did. There are some other cards that could do decent, obviously, depending on what comes out. Um, League-wise, what comes out, because I don't know who's getting a card, but... It, an example could be Sun. I mean, he's really just fodder. He's fodder. He's not someone like Van Dyke or Saliba that's a bit more usable, but he could maybe do decent out of packs. Some of these cards that are straight fodder, like a, a Sun is, is pretty much fodder. Um, and Kunku is fodder. Those are cards. Maybe we wait till Thursday for the fodder to come down to buy. And then we hold a few days into Premier League team of season. Another reason why you buy some of these cards for going out of packs. One, they're out of packs. There's no more supply. But two, uh, we do tend to get team of the season objectives, friendly tournaments where you need to use a Premier League squad. So if we do get that, we could also see some of these if they it depends on what the requirements are for it. If it's like, hey, max 87 rating you need a full premier league squad someone like son could go up a good amount so uh that's something where you could maybe just get a little bit of luck it's kind of more luck based than you were making a really genius investment um but that's another reason why buying some of these premier league golds is a good idea and once again i talked about these in the youtube the previous youtube video but also guys this is all in the vip trading discord remember if you want to join this is the free trading one i just post uh my videos and i sometimes post other stuff um but vip investments this is the vip section here's the van dyke i tip for 22k he's easily going to be getting a team of the season and then above that was saliba it's it's simple this is very simple to do if we go take a peek at how much they're going for right now i'm actually curious I know Saliba was like 1,800 coins earlier. What is he going for now? 1,800 coins. Van Dyke was up at 29K. I actually think he came back down a little bit. If we see this card drop down closer to like 25K, maybe with Thursday rival rewards, I would definitely look to buy. So those are the out-of-pack investments we're still holding. And guys, remember, we do this every single week. So whatever the next team of the season team is, friday or saturday we buy players from that so say an example let's say bundesliga team of the season comes around we know alfonso davies is probably going to get a card this would be a ridiculously good investment insanely good someone like let's think uh la liga akunde would do good a rudiger would do good and arajo could maybe do decent um I'm just trying to think of like meta players. Uh, you could probably say Vinicius Jr. would do good as well. So just a bunch of random cards where if they are the next team of the season, you buy their golds and just wait for them to go out of packs. It's as simple as that. So that is an update on our investments. Make sure your fodder's gone. I'm almost done with these um, 89s, by the way. Very close to I just 35 left in my own assign list. I'm just putting them into the uh, 89 exchange so far. I think I have over 189 exchange packs crafted and i did the math that's 5100 golds and if i put those golds into the 80 plus player pick that's 850 80 plus player picks and then think about me doing the 80 plus player picks whatever fodder i get from that crafting more exchange packs and then doing more player picks i'm going to have so many it's going to be an unlimited amount of player picks during premier league team of the season I'm excited for it. I'm hoping I can pack some big players. You guys can see as well. I have over 17 million coins. I'm 100% I'm opening store packs during Premier League team of the season. I'm packing every single Arsenal player. It's happening. Now let's talk about expected content leaks. What do we got? SBC. So in the SBC section tomorrow on Wednesday, I do want to mention one of you guys reminded me of it as well in the previous video from the comments. Uh, we usually get a team of the season guaranteed type SBC. So 
Are we going to be getting a live team of the season guaranteed SBC tomorrow and Wednesday? We shall see. I, I hope we do. I know for sure we should be getting it with like Premier League, La Liga, all that when those come around. Um, but this is live team of the season. So it'll be interesting. But we did last year. It's what we got. We had community team of the season. And with community team of the season, there was a guaranteed community team of the season SBC. So maybe we see some fodder rise. I know some of you guys were mentioning, hey, team of the season cards get required. Could we make coins buying them? It's a bit tricky because it would have to be the requirement for the SBC would have to be you need a team of the season live um, specific card because these aren't team of the season cards. They're team of the season live. Same thing we saw last year when it, if the SBC required a team of the season, team of the season moments didn't fit because they are team of the season moments. So it would have to be team of season live sp um, specific. And it's just, I don't know if we would see something like that. And I really wouldn't be surprised if they require team of the weeks. Now, would I take the gamble and invest in team of the weeks? I don't think I would, uh, especially because this SBC right here, I would do this, by the way, do this SBC 85 overall squad really cheap and then just sell the team of the week that you get. Maybe you get lucky. You get an expensive team of the week as well. But uh, this expires tomorrow. Tradable team of the week upgrade. I really wouldn't be surprised if they re-release it again tomorrow on Wednesday when it expires just to kind of hold down the team of the week prices so they don't go insane in flying price so um keep an eye on tomorrow it's going to be very interesting with what we get sbc wise it's going to really kind of lay out our investments for the following week because if we get if we don't get something like this or if we do get this sbc we see team of the weeks come down could be a decent idea to actually pick up some team of the week so um expected content maybe a team of the season upgrade maybe this team of the week upgrade again and that is the expected sbcs if i'm correct obviously no team of the week anymore maybe we get the team of the season live evolution look at that if you sub to my twitch channel you get access to the vip trading discord if you have amazon prime like joke v vz does you can subscribe to the twitch channel for free and join the vip trading discord for free every single month thank you for the sub joke vvz um so maybe another team of the season live evolution. Now let's look at some leaks. What do we have for leaks? There's quite a few. We're going to head over to Twitter. I'm actually going to check my phone because I got a bunch of Twitter notifications. Are there any new leaks? It's just Foot Sheriff uh, tweeting a bunch of random stuff. Actually, no, Garnacho is coming as a team of the season. Garnacho is coming as a team of the season moment. That makes sense. This one doesn't. Why is Nkunku getting a team of the season moments? I have no idea. I didn't even know he played this season. I thought he's been injured the whole season. So uh, not sure what his moment is from the season, but uh, okay, there you go. I'm just going to scroll through. Team of the season from the top five leagues will have three moments. So we have Garnacho, we have Nkunku. There's one more moments to come. And scroll, 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 scroll. There's so many different accounts that are doing leaks at the moment. It's just... I'm just going to scroll through my notifications that I have. Sun is coming as a team of the season card. We have, oh, for that's the evolution. That's the evolution. These are all the evolutions. Cole Palmer is getting a card, by the way. That's an evolution, though. Uh, I mean, Cole Palmer is a fairly obvious one as well. Come on, where are all the leaks at? I should just honestly show you guys my discord i do have a fifa league section in the discord where every leak that comes out i just post it in there so you don't have to do what i'm doing right now and scroll through twitter i'm gonna start doing that because this is actually really annoying uh la la don't care van dyke is coming we have ben white by the way six premier league uh six arsenal players are going to be in premier league team of season so that's awesome holland palmer watkins and six arsenal players that is i believe the last leak that's all we have at the moment and um i'm excited i'm very excited for it what is this we're getting more team of season live player sbcs i'm not sure what those are necessarily but that's that um i'm excited premier league team of season on friday it's going to be fun i have so many packs to open and i have a bunch of 89 exchanges to still craft 
That is it for this video. If you guys have any questions, comment section down below. My trading Discord, Twitch, live stream, description down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.